Hi guys, welcome back to my channel everyone. So here again, English teacher in France is live from France. How's everybody doing guys? So actually here in France right now, it is 6 p.m. Um, no, it's uh, 15 past uh, 6. Yes, so 6.15 p.m. here in France. So yeah, p.m. It's in the evening actually. So yes, guys, I hope everybody's doing. Welcome to my live stream, everybody. Yes, guys. How are you? How are you? Okay, let me just check the chat room right now. How is everyone doing? Hello, Loli Loli. Hello. Welcome to my live stream, Loli Loli. How are you? How are you, Loli Loli? Good to see you here. How are you doing? How was your day, Loli Loli? So yes, guys, teacher is here again live. And for tonight's live streaming, everyone, we will be actually again studying about English, of course, and this is all about if conditionals, everyone. SB Pariwa, hi sis, how are you? Thank you so much. Hello, SB Pariwa, how are you? Where are you from, SB Pariwa? Where are you from? We have Loli Loli here, our uh, student who is studying English. She is actually from France, so yeah. So I hope you guys... Uh, gonna actually you know talk with each other there in the chat room so you know talking to someone or talking to uh, people is actually a great practice to you know use english so yeah how about you lowly lowly did you have any chance to uh, speak english today sb pariwa fine i'm from Hyder hyderabad i am sarita oh I'm uh, I'm quite uh, unfamiliar with that place, but welcome to my live stream. Thank you so much for coming. Shine Amen. Hello, teach and everyone. Yes, hello, Shine Amen. How are you, Shine Amen? Good to see you here. Well, actually, Loli Loli is the most early or the earliest student today. She is our uh, early bird. Yeah, right. <laughs> Loli Loli, I'm doing well. Thanks. What about you? I'm doing great, Loli Loli. Because of course, it's Friday, everyone. TGIF. What do we mean by TGIF, everyone? Is there anyone there who is not familiar with TGIF? Come on. If you know what TGIF is, please write in the chat room. Come on. Gwen's live in UK. Hello, everyone. Hello, my dear Gwen. How are you, Gwen? Hello, Loli, my neighbor. Oh, are you neighbors? <laughs> are you neighbors? Because Loli, Loli, and I are not neighbors, yes? Loli, Loli is very far from me. Yeah, it takes a lot. I mean, it's a long way from uh, my place to Loli, Loli's place. <clears throat> yeah, Jeremy Lavilli's Art Adventures. Hello, welcome to my live stream. So, yes, guys, so we will be using the first few minutes to actually greet each other everyone so maybe after like seven minutes we're gonna start the show everyone so yeah um we need um maybe seven minutes more to uh yeah start officially loli loli hi gwen's life in uk yeah that's a great job loli loli mary flower in vietnam hello how are you welcome to my live stream Mary Flower in Vietnam, everyone, is also an English teacher. Loli Loli, um, Shai Neiman, and everyone in the chat. Mary Flower in Vietnam is also a teacher. She's an English teacher, and obviously, from the name itself, she is in Vietnam right now. Yes, she teaches English in Vietnam. Just here to say hi. That's great. Thank you so much for dropping by, Mary Flower in Vietnam. How's everybody doing today? Yes, how's everybody doing? Well, Loli Loli's doing great. I just got Loli Loli's answer. I'm not so sure with uh, Shine Amen. How are you, Shine Amen, today? <laughs> yes, guys, actually, I just finished my um, premiere because I actually premiered a video. Yeah, that video is just, uh, you know, it's uh, an unboxing, you know, to uh, thank someone who is very thoughtful. Yeah. Um, hope everyone is well. Yes, I guess everyone's well. Mary Flower in Vietnam. West life in UK, no problem. You have a headache and the baby is still not well. Oh, uh, not good to hear that. My baby is actually feeling much better. I mean, uh, she doesn't have fever anymore. So I'm so happy because it was only for one day, guys. So yeah, 
we just gave her medicine and after that, yeah, she, uh, she just got better. Jarvie May said, hello, Gwen. All right, so uh, Shy Neiman has not answered. She hasn't answered if she's, she, he. <laughs> Shy Neiman hasn't answered if he is actually feeling good. So I'm actually using my laptop here, guys, to uh, read your messages. Because again, I'm still using my phone for this live streaming, guys. Because, you know, with the phone, the quality is quite good. So, yeah. Um, Shy Neiman, you've got a good baby, Teach. Uh-huh, I've got a good baby. What do you mean, Shy Neiman? Oh, yeah, my baby, because uh, she recovers so quickly. Yeah, what's life in UK? No sleep. Oh, you just had your checkup. So, an antib antibiotic now. Oh, my God, only one day. Yeah. I'm so thankful. Yeah, how about Loli Loli and everyone? Did you have any chance to speak English today, uh, Loli Loli, or everyone there in the chat? Well, I guess uh, most of you actually had a chance to uh, speak English, right? Am I correct? Or I am wrong? Mm -hmm. So yes, guys, so I have a question to ask you. One question, all right? Before we start, everyone, I have one question here. I'm going to type it in the chat room, okay? Yeah, so I hope uh, you guys going to answer this question. <laughs> uh, how can I say? Seriously or it really depends on you, you know? All right, here we go. This is a bit interesting. This question is a bit interesting, but, uh, well, anyway, you can just try, you know? Try to answer this. All right, here we go. It's a bit long, guys. Okay. This question is very good for students. Mm -hmm. And I think most of you here are students, so this question's for you. Here we go. All right. So I have here a question. Okay, here's the question. All right. If a classmate asked you for the answer to a question during an exam while the teacher was not looking what would you do everyone so can you guys answer this question jeremy i am following you shine Eman. well shine Eman and loli loli and uh, maybe some uh, and gwen's life in uk guys they are actually not creators okay they are students they are studying english right shine Eman? <laughs> So yeah, everyone, can anybody answer the question? If a classmate asked you for an answer, for the answer to a question during an exam, everyone, and the teacher wasn't looking, what would you do? Mm -hmm. Shine Amen said, if he is Fanzo, I will help him, of course. See, Fanzo. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to write your answer, all right? So, let's start the show. Mm -hmm. So, if he is Fanzo, Fanzo, what is that? I will help him. I will help, all right? Is there any other answers there? <clears throat> Lol, um, sometimes yes, sometimes no. Mm -hmm. Jeremy, Jeremy, uh, the question is, what would you do, everyone? Okay, Jeremy's level, oh, uh, lowly, lowly, remove the answer. What happened, lowly, lowly? <laughs> Jeremy says, sometimes yes, sometimes no. So, I guess you are saying that sometimes you would, uh, what you would uh, help, or sometimes you wouldn't help. Is that what you mean? One slide in UK said. Talking from the past, I did share, okay, you have to say, I did share my answer if, aha, uh -huh, okay, I'm going to write the answer here. I do, I do share if we are close, okay, if we are close. All right, and Loli Loli here, I wouldn't answer her question. I don't like cheating. Oh, <laughs> such a great job, Loli Loli. Uh-huh. I wouldn't, I wouldn't answer. Uh-huh. All right. 
And uh, Jeremy said, sometimes I would help, sometimes I would not help, help depending on the person that I'm helping. All right, so uh, you've got wonderful answers, everyone. So uh, that's really uh, great to hear the answers from you guys. So uh, as you can see there in the question, everyone, the question is, if a classmate asked, okay, asked you for the answer to a question during an exam, while the teacher wasn't looking, all right, what would you do? So as you can see, that is actually, this question given there is actually about if conditionals. Now tonight, everyone, we will be talking about if conditionals. I know maybe many of you there already know the different if conditionals. There are actually uh, three if conditionals, yes, so, or four, shall I say, but the first one is what we call zero conditional. So I'm not going to include it tonight. I will just be having the um, first, second, and third conditional. Okay, so the three conditionals, everyone. So before we talk about it, we, before we talk about the different if conditionals, I would like to, uh, yes, see your answers here. As you can see, your answers over here, 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 here. So your answers are here. So um, Shiny then said, if he is Fanzo, I will help him or I will help. All right, so uh, I would mark this sentence wrong, okay? Mm -hmm. What's wrong with this sentence, everyone? And let's have another answer from Gwen. I do share if we are close, uh-huh, and I would mark this sentence wrong again. Oh, teacher, everything's wrong. Is everything wrong, teacher? No, not everything, everyone. So you see the third sentence, it says here, I wouldn't answer, which is correct, okay? So this is very short, everyone, but that is correct, okay? So I guess she's trying to say, I wouldn't answer. I wouldn't answer if, if what? If she, you see the friend there? The question is a classmate. If a classmate, if a classmate asked, okay? So this is the complete sentence and Loli Loli did it well. So Loli Loli is able to use wouldn't and yes, uh, this is the correct, you know, answer to that question. Now you might be wondering why. Yes, no problem, Mary Flower in Vietnam. Have a good night. I know it's already very late there in Vietnam right now. So yes, guys, have you ever wondered why is the first wrong and the second as well. Why are they wrong? But the third one is correct. Why? Shiny men hope Buddhism will give me some level because the lesson starts hard. <laughs> is it hard, Shiny men? Just because you've got a mistake here, you really think it's hard? Well, many of my ESL students, everyone, actually really consider this topic as a difficult one. Well, I can understand, but if you do practice and you really try to analyze the different structures, you will be able to understand and you will be able to use it as long as you practice all the time. Look at Loli Loli. She's able to use it correctly. Just my TV. Hello. Welcome to my live stream. How are you? Loli Loli said, because the situation is unreal, it's an imaginary situation. That's perfectly what I wanted to hear everyone. So yes, Loli Loli, such a smart student, Loli Loli. Yes, everyone. Josie V Vlog, welcome to my live stream. So yes, everyone. Of course, according to Loli Loli, because the question there, the question given, if a classmate asked you for the answer to a question during an exam and the teacher wasn't looking, <clears throat> what would you do? So as you can see there in the if, Okay, if part of the sentence, the verb is in the past form, asked. Okay, in the past form, this, if a classmate asked. Okay, so this is in the past form. So always remember everyone, I'm going to tell you later the different structures for a first, second, third conditionals. Okay, in this part or in that question that I've given, I've given you, if plus subject plus the past simple, this means this is just only imagination, okay? This is a real situation. Hello, Raquel, welcome to my live stream. So yes, guys, Loli Loli is right. 
This is imagination, everyone. If subject plus the past simple verb, that is imagination. It means to say the situation isn't real. All right? So again, if you're talking about unreal situation, you cannot use the present simple in will. You cannot use the present in the present. No. All right? But you should use, you should use if, okay? You should use if. Yes, it's correct. If plus the subject, okay? Subject. And the verb here should be in the past form, okay? Past simple verb, all right? Past simple. And of course, if you start your sentence with if, then you need to put comma before the main sentence, okay? The main part of the sentence, which starts with the subject. So you put comma there and you use the subject, okay? That is the subject. And then followed by would, okay? Would, not will, all right? Would. And you use the base for verb, okay? So that's the pattern. So this is what we call the second conditional, okay? Second conditional, which is all about unreal or imagination, okay? Imaginary thing, imaginary situation that's not real. So we have to use if, subject, past simple, and then you put comma because it starts with if, and you use the subject would and the base form verb. All right, so that's how you do it. So you use this pattern. Okay, sorry everyone. All right, so how can you correct the first sentence and the second? Can you correct everyone? Come on. Come on, whoever corrects that sentence will get one point from English teacher in France. So as usual, everyone. So today is actually the 29th. Armani Wood, woo! Welcome, Armani! How are you, Armani? How are you? How are you? Just my TV, guys. Okay, thank you so much, everyone. Yes, guys, if you uh, like this uh, live streaming, please don't forget to hit that thumbs up over there. And if you think some of your friends are interested in learning English, please don't hesitate to share this stream, everyone. So we can have more, um, you know, uh, friends here and we can practice more, of course. Just, uh, Armani said, a hug for you. Thank you so much, Armani. Shiny man, Ifanzo asked, I would have helped. Aha! Uh -huh. So you have there, Shiny man, I would have helped, okay? Would have helped is wrong, Shiny man. You know what? Because, you see here, this is past simple form. So, in the main part, we use would and the base form verb. Base form verb. So what is the base form of help? It's only help. So it should be, it should be this one. It should be this. If, sorry, why do I use blue? So it should be if he were or was. Anyway, it doesn't matter. You can use were or was. doesn't matter because that's imagination. Okay, if you were a fan, so yes, very good. Loli, 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 Loli has given the answer, everyone. Loli, Loli got one point. So you see, if he were, well, the most suitable answer is were everyone. But anyway, in spoken English, it's acceptable to say was, okay? Yeah, but the most suitable answer, especially when you take a test, for example, TOEIC test or TOEFL test, the best answer is if he were, okay? Well, was is possible in spoken English. So you say, if he were Fanzo, I would help and blah, blah, blah. So you see, you have here the subject, if subject, and then the past simple of the be verb here, were or was, and then you have the subject, would, and the base form verb. Okay, that's the correct answer. Hi, Adventure. Welcome to my live stream. Loli, Loli, I would share if we were close. Oh my God, Loli, Loli. Yes, perfect, Loli, Loli. So you see it here? The correct answer is if we were close, I would share. Okay, so you see? 
this is perfect. Now I'm going to erase the two things here. So you see, this one is wrong, this one is wrong. So the other three sentences here are correct. So now we have here correct sentences. This correct and this also correct. Okay, so let me erase this one. Someone called me, so uh, sorry guys, someone called me, so the connection was uh, gone. Okay, yeah, sorry, I'm so sorry everyone. So yeah guys, you see here, you have if, subject, past simple, subject would base form verb. Okay, now give me another example. For example, I say, so by the way guys, this structure, this is what we call the if conditional. Okay, this is the conditional to. Okay, this is to. So the if conditional to, we use this one for, oh my God, what happened to my pen? We use this one for unreal situation. Unreal situation. Unreal situation, everyone. Uh, Fanzo said, <clears throat> lowly, lowly, so you want to be close to me. <laughs> So maybe you can say, lowly, lowly, so do you want to be close to me? Okay, do you want to be close to me? So that is the, um, the perfect uh, question, um, Fanzo. I don't know, you can ask um, lowly, lowly, so maybe lowly, lowly is going to answer your question, Fanzo. <laughs> so yes, guys, that's it. So we use this structure, everyone, again, only when the situation is not real. In other words, in other words, it is just imagination okay it is just imagination okay <clears throat> it is imagination everyone <clears throat> close to everyone <laughs> and so what uh loli loli is laughing and so what i'm doing on the board again sensei laughing out loud i don't know fanzo i don't know fanzo but it's just that your name is very probably um easy to use every time people give an example, you know? So yeah, guys, I hope you understand. So actually with this structure, the sentence begins with if, but you can actually invert, okay? You can invert the sentence. You can change it beginning with the subject, okay? You can use, okay? You can also use this. You use subject plus would plus the base form verb, okay? Now, because you start your sentence with the subject, you don't need comma anymore, okay? You don't need comma. You need to say subject would base form and then you use what? If, okay? You have if there and then subject and then past simple verb. Past simple. You see? So you have this structure. So you guys can actually make your own example. Okay, so now, for example, pay attention, shiny man. <laughs> so yeah, I hope you guys are paying attention because afterwards, we're going to have a little bit of exercise as usual, you know? So you see, I wouldn't answer if a classmate asked. So this means to say, this is just imagination, everyone. It isn't real, all right? Everything here is just imagination. No problem, Josie V Vlog. Thank you so much. Nurse Aid in America, welcome to my live stream. How are you? So yeah, if we were close, so what is really the meaning? If you say, if we were close, I would share. It means we aren't, we aren't close, okay? The meaning here, if we were close, the real situation is we aren't close, okay? We aren't close. So... I don't share. So this is the real situation. Okay, the real situation is you aren't close. That's why you don't share. Now, if you imagine, if you imagine the opposite case, just imagination, then you can use this structure. Okay, so if we were close, I would share. Or I would share if we were close. All right, so that's it. So I hope you guys understand it. And the same thing here, I wouldn't answer if a classmate asked, or you can just say, if a classmate asked, oh, why there's comma here? There's no comma, okay? 
There's no comma here because you start with a subject. So you see, I wouldn't answer if a classmate asked. If he were or was pencil, comma, I wouldn't, I would help, I mean. Okay? Do you guys understand? Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, okay, now another question. Okay, I have here another question. Can you guys answer this? No problem, Nurse Aid in America. Thank you so much. So Loli Loli got one point. By the way, everyone, for those creators there who will get the point, if you get two points, you will have uh, one WH from English teacher in France, of course, yes. And Loli Loli got a lot of uh, points before. So yeah. Loli Loli is studying English a lot. Mm -hmm. So what is the answer, guys? What will you do if you have a visitor now? If you have a visitor now, what will you do? How will you answer that question? Benzo? Everyone? Anybody? Anybody? <clears throat> Uh-huh. So Loli Loli said, if I have a visitor, I will offer, I'll offer him coffee. All right. There's no ah. Uh. You have to say, I'll offer him coffee or I'll offer him a cup of coffee. If you want to use ah, uh, then you should say a uh, cup. But a uh, coffee alone is not possible because coffee is uncountable. We already studied that before. Hello, Horang X Gamer Task Force 101. Welcome to my live stream. How are you? Yeah. So, yes, Loli Loli. <clears throat> Loli Loli said, offer him a cup of coffee. Okay, got it. Yes, that is perfect. Okay. So, Loli Loli has an answer there. So, Loli Loli said, <clears throat> I, what's that? Okay. If. I have a visitor, I will offer a cup of coffee. Oh, teacher is writing on the board. Yeah, sorry guys, I'm actually uh, learning how to use OBS, but uh, oh, OBS is not so friendly with teacher. <laughs> So yes, guys, so I just rather, you know, use the board and write things like that. So you see, you have your, if I have a visitor, I will offer a cup of coffee, which is perfect. Okay, this is a perfect answer, Loli Loli. Monsage Cooking, hello, welcome to my live stream. <clears throat> Fanzo said, if the visitor, if the visitor is shiny men, okay, not be, you have to use if so, this guys, this is the correct sentence, okay? Now, in this pattern here, this is the first conditional, okay? This is the first conditional, which is the use of if, and then the subject, and then the present simple verb, present simple verb, okay? And then, of course, comma, then you use the subject and the will form. Will in then the base form verb. Okay, so that's it, guys. You can see. Thank you so much, Moonstage Cooking. Uh, who's there? Missy Madeline. Hello, welcome to my live stream. <clears throat> if he ever will show up. No, remember everyone, we never use will in the if part, okay? You say if he, if he ever will show. It's not possible, okay? You can just say if he ever shows up okay if he ever shows up this is the correct thing fanzo shiny man said fanzo how come you are half <laughs> what is this talk all about shiny <laughs> so yes guys you see it's very good very good job um um lonely lonely you see you have here if if that's if 
The subject is I. Present simple verb is have. A visitor is just object. And you have the subject I, will, you have will, and the base form verb, which is offer. Okay? Now, what's the difference between the two? Shine, aim, and thumbnail, really? <laughs> Hi, name and love. Pay attention. I'm having coffee. RC Mix TV. Hello. Good evening. Welcome to my live stream. So yes, guys, I hope you guys will be very active in uh, participating or giving examples or giving the answers every time I ask. Because if you actually get two correct answers for those creators there, you will get one WH from English teacher and friends. Okay. Yes, but for those who are not creators and are interested in learning English, you will get three correct answers. You will get 30 minutes free online class with English teacher and friends. All right? Yes. <clears throat> All right. So that's it, guys. What's the difference between the two? Here, teacher, why is it present? And here, teacher, is past. Does it mean this is present and this is past? What do you think is the difference? Hmm? What's the difference? Anybody, anybody? Come on. Nobody want to answer? Nobody wants to answer? <laughs> okay, teacher will just get something, okay, for a while where you are thinking of your answer. <coughs> nobody, nobody but you. Well, I hope you guys can actually see the board clearly. Is it clear enough, everyone? <clears throat> okay, what do we have here? Shine him in. Hello, Ruby. What's the difference? <laughs> guys, everyone, please don't ask people to uh, connect with you, okay? Just do it the right way, everyone. Uh, Ruby's, uh, Loli Loli said, possible situation. And result is true. Oh, very good job, Loli Loli. Situation. Jeb Jam Ra, what is the question? The question, everyone, is what is the difference between the two if conditionals? The first conditional and the second conditional. Actually, yes. First and second conditional. What's the difference between the two? As I mentioned a while ago, unreal situation for the second conditional for this pattern with the past simple. But what about the first conditional? In present simple here. How is it different? Velicitine, hello, beautiful teacher, shout out. Hello, thank you so much for coming. Velicitine, welcome to my live stream. But please uh, don't use many emoticons, okay? Just use two maximum, okay? Two maximum emoticons, not more than that. All right, Ariel Shemiling, hello, welcome to my live stream. How are you, Ariel Shemiling? Pixie's channel, welcome. How are you, Pixie's channel? So yeah, guys, what's the difference between the two? So Loli Loli said, yes, it's a real situation or a possible situation. Yes, so we use the first pattern. Nobody has given another answer. Pixie's channel, all good today. Been sunny, but very cold. Oh, sunny, really? It's actually, it has been raining here in France. Yeah, but not so heavy, just, you know, like drizzling. Yeah. Nobody wants to answer? Well, yes, everyone. So, uh, yeah, Loli Loli is right. Uh, you're a beautiful teacher. Nice. I am teacher tango dance. Oh, really? Velocity, and that's good. But please, uh, please do not, okay? Please do not. See, Nightbot deleted the message, guys, because a lot of emoticons. Yeah. You see? <laughs> Pixie's channel first, uh, first bit of sun within a week, so went out for a little walk. All right, that's great to hear that, Pixie's channel. So anyway, going back here, yes, uh, Loli Loli is right. We use the first conditional everyone. We use this one when you talk about, okay, we use this one only for real, okay? This is for, oh my God, real or possible, possible situation okay real or possible situation sorry guys i hope you can see i wrote it there 
no space everyone <laughs> real or possible situation just mike <laughs> all right so do you guys understand so if you say if i have a visitor it means to say it's possible for you to have a visitor okay it's possible for you to have a visitor you are thinking of the possible thing to happen all right yeah that's why we use if subject present simple subject will and the base form verb but with this the second conditional you are talking about unreal situation in other words just imagination okay for example for example in your case guys are you teacher kathy is it possible for you to be teacher Kathy? Possible or not? Okay. If you were teacher Kathy, what would you do? Okay. If you were teacher Kathy, by the way, guys, this is teacher Kathy speaking in front of you. <laughs> if you were teacher Kathy, what would you do? So with this question, what are you going to use? Are you going to use the first conditional or the second conditional? Come on, write your answer. Thank you, Fanzo. <clears throat> come on, come on, come on. Come on, everybody. Okay, Loli Loli said the second conditional. Jijam Ra, Jeb Jam Ra said the first. Uh huh. Okay, first, let me ask you. Is it possible for you, Jeb Jamra is Jeb Jamra, Loli Loli is Loli Loli. Is it possible for you to be Kathy? Possible or not? It isn't possible, right? Kathy is Kathy, Jib Jam is Jib Jam, Loli is Loli, Shine Amen is Shine Amen. No, yes, Missy Madeline, it's no. No, 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 it's not possible. So, Loli Loli is right. You have to use the second conditional, okay? So what will be your sentence, everyone? Okay, what will be your sentence? So Loli Loli got the point. Okay, what will be your sentence? The question is, if you were teacher Kathy, what would you do? What would you do if you were teacher Kathy? So you can actually you know, change. Loli Loli said, if I were, okay, I, everyone should be big, okay? If I were Kathy, I would speak a perfect, okay? Perfect is spelled this way. Perfect English. Oh, perfect example, Loli Loli. Eva Gomez, welcome to my live stream. How are you? Martis Rich, welcome to my live stream. Present na busy <laughs> at Loli Loli check. Yes, Loli Loli's right. Eva Gomez, no problem. Thank you so much, everyone, for the thumbs up. Okay, so yes, guys, that's it. If you were Kathy, you would speak perfect English or you would speak English perfectly. So if you want to use the adverb form, all right? Yes. <clears throat> How about others? No answer. Missy Madeline, money now. <laughs> you know, Shani said, if I were teacher Kathy, I would try to speak as loud as she does. Oh my God, really? Can't you hear me right now? <laughs> Can't you guys hear me? Oh my God. I think I'm what is shouting, you know? <laughs> Perfect example, Shani Men. Wow, that's a very good job. No problem, Eva Gomez. Eva Gomez, guys, is follow bloggers. Yes, no problem, Marta's Kitchen. Thank you so much, Joby Vlogs. Or Josie Vlog, I mean. So yeah, that's it, guys. So I hope you guys understand the difference between the two. Now, you have to remember, you also have to think, everyone, because many students are confused. They would say, oh, teacher, here is past simple, so the meaning is past. Teacher here present, so the meaning is present. Who can answer? If I were teacher Kathy, I would speak French. Oh, yeah, you would speak French, but... <laughs> it's 
speaking French is hard, you know? Yeah, but we have their Loli Loli and Shine Amen. They're actually from France, so they speak French very well. If I were Shine Amen and Loli Loli, I would be very good at French. Oh my God. Or I could speak French very well. So remember everyone, instead of using will here, you can also use can, okay? Can, which means will be able, all right? You can also use can, which means will be able, all right? So I'm gonna write it here, no space, but I'm just gonna write it here. It's also possible to use can everyone. And here would is also possible to use could, okay? Could is possible, which means would be able, all right? So instead of saying, would be able, you can just say could, all right? So for example, I say, if I were Shine Amen, I could speak French very well, or I would be able to speak French very well, all right? Shine Amen as clearly as she does. <laughs> yes, okay, do you guys understand? So anyway, remember everyone, here is present simple form verb, the first conditional, but the second condition is past simple verb, but you have to remember both have present or future meaning, okay? There is no past meaning in these two conditionals, okay? Both have present or future meaning. So you see, we aren't close. We aren't, that's present. We aren't close, so I don't share. That's present meaning, okay? Yeah, I hope you guys understand. So once again, the first conditional we use if subject present simple. And you put comma because you start your sentence with if. And then subject will or can, which means will be able. And then the base form verb. All right. Now the second conditional is actually, okay, the first conditional, this is for real or possible situation. The second is unreal situation or just imagination. You use if. Subject past simple, again, comma, because you start with if. Subject would or could, which means would be able, plus the base form verb. Now, both conditionals, everyone, are in present or future meaning, not past, okay? Now, when you talk about the past meaning, what should be the pattern? How to say it? Uh, Fanza said, Missy, can you speak German? Oh, uh, wow. Maybe Missy can speak German. So can I erase this one, everyone? Of course, I can, right? Even if you say no, teacher is going to erase it. <laughs> All right, so that's it. So I hope you guys can remember the different structures. Okay. Okay, the board is clean, as clean as my face. <laughs> okay, that's it, everyone. <clears throat> so, again, one and two, okay, conditionals. They have present or future meaning. Present or future, okay, present or future meaning. Now, let's talk about the past meaning. Okay, the past meaning. All right. Um, uh, I have a question, everyone. Did English teacher in France, did teacher Kathy go live yesterday? You can answer. Did teacher go live yesterday? Answer, everyone. Nice long hair, man. Thank you so much. Just like TV. <laughs> Did teacher go live yesterday? Come on, answer. Who can answer? Okay, teacher has to put start before you give your answers, right? <clears throat> Only Loli Loli got the points so far. Mm -hmm. And so, well, she wanted to be live. <laughs> Loli Loli said, yes, she did. Uh-huh. Yes, she did in the daytime. Okay, I should make my sentence yesterday, or I should change my question. Yesterday night. Okay, yesterday night. Did teacher go live yesterday night? 
I have no idea, Teacher Kathy. <laughs> I know, no problem, Missy Medellin. Anyone? Most of them were here or, um, yeah, most of them were here during my live streaming in the daytime. Yeah, but I'm wondering if they know, okay? Come on, everyone. Come on, everybody. Loli Loli said, I can't remember. Very good sentence. You can't remember, really. Oh, who can remember there? Come on, who can remember? Yeah, she's in Germany. Oh, great. Missy Medellin is in Germany. Hello, Kitty's Market. Hello, hello, hello. How are you, Kitty's Market? Shine name and teacher couldn't go live yesterday evening. Yes, teacher couldn't go live yesterday evening. Or teacher wasn't able to go live yesterday evening. That is correct, Shine Amen. Does my TV teacher was live? I think no. Jeb Rob, I don't know because we are having Thanksgiving last night. Or you can say we were having okay because you're talking about last night so you say we were having or you can say we had all right so these uh, two things are correct we were having or we had thanksgiving okay yeah but the most suitable answer is you say we had thanksgiving last night okay because you're talking last night that's finished time so you have to use the past form verb fans a teacher forgot to go live yesterday and he's laughing oh really it is market hey shine even fans <laughs> yes everyone english teacher in france wasn't able to go live yesterday she couldn't go live yesterday because as i told you my baby was not feeling good so I didn't go live. Okay, I'm gonna write the situation. All right, let's write the situation here. Teacher couldn't go live yesterday. And it's okay, couldn't go live because her baby was sick okay okay let's put yesterday but it's not really necessary anymore because we already talked about it and i would use here past form groups okay no split up mommy <laughs> all right guys so teacher couldn't go live because her baby was sick yesterday so in this situation everyone okay if you want to express something with this using if how are you going to say it using if express the situation okay using if use if for something that did not happen using if everyone who can who can start how can I tell you? <laughs> yes, guys. So, yeah. Excuse me for a second. Teacher is blocking the way. Guys, let's eat. <laughs> it's very delicious, everyone. Oh, teacher, you're very bad. You're eating. Who wants to eat there? This is... Um... Wait, wait, wait. What do you have to eat, guys? This is um, al almendral. This is from, this is product of Spain, everyone. It's very delicious, you know. This is Torondoru. I think in English, Torondoru maybe is uh, Spanish words. They are Spanish words, which means crunchy toron. Mmm, it's very delicious. I love it. There is a peanut inside. Just my TV, you are right. Nose bleed. Her hair give her her hair gives her. Okay, gives. Okay, her hair gives her too much. Her her hair gives her too much power. Oh my God, <laughs> Missy Madeline. 
If she was live yesterday, I would have known. Mm-hmm. Loli Loli, if her baby weren't sick, the teacher would make a live lesson. Oh, come on, everyone. Nobody has given the answer. Nobody has given the correct answer, I mean. Kitty Smart, if teacher's daughter isn't sick, she'll go live. Nobody got it right, everyone. No, no, no. Nobody, nobody, but nobody. <laughs> Yes, guys, nobody got it right. Come on. So I told you, everyone, the first and the second. Oh, my God, what happened here? Why did I put and? It's and, okay? The first and the second conditionals, the meaning, okay? Present or future meaning. Hello, Sasha. Welcome to my live stream, Sasha. Hello, teacher. I only greet and support. I'm in a hurry. Greetings from Russia. Yes, big shout out to you. Um, uh, Sasha, how are you? Uh, you are in a hurry. No problem. No problem, Eva Gomez. Okay. Jeb Jeb Bra said, if teacher's daughter is sick, then she can't go live. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> now, I would like you to express everyone about the past situation past martis rich said teacher couldn't go live because her daughter was sick yes that's exactly what i wrote here i would like you to change this <clears throat> by using if you express something like this past meaning using if yes Nobody, nobody but you. Shiny means uh, love and very poor at English, okay? Poor at. No problem, everyone. That's why you're here to practice, right? That's why you are here. You are here to practice. Would you dance if I asked you to dance? Would you kiss? <laughs> teacher, what are you talking about, teacher? Sorry, guys. Because of you. My life has changed. Has anyone given the answer? Change it into what teacher? <laughs> Marcus Rich, you change this sentence using if. Try to change this sentence using if. Sasha, you have to stay. We do want we do not want to suffer alone. <laughs> everyone, everyone listen to the teacher carefully all the while, friends. Perfect sentence. And so can we buy letters like the show Jeopardy? <laughs> Have a good day, uh, Sasha. Missy Medley said if her baby wasn't sick, she could have went live. Nope. Just my TV. Wow, our teacher sings. Okay. Our teacher sings. All right. Teacher is singular, so you have to say our teacher sings. Uh, Shine Eamon, I didn't know there was a question. <laughs> Shine Eamon, the question is... It's not really a question, but an order. <laughs> order, teacher? No, I'm asking you guys to change this sentence using if. Case market, the teacher's daughter wasn't sick, she would have gone live. Oh, Missy Madeline and Kitty's market are almost correct, okay? Almost correct. You just need to change something in your sentence. Martis said, teacher would be live if her... Daughter was not sick, laughing out loud. Mm, everyone has the same mistake. Loli Loli, if her baby wasn't sick, she could have a live lesson. Oh, everybody has the same mistake. Hoo, 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 hoo. Is it hard, everyone? Yes, 
I know it is hard and this is the start. This is the beginning of our nightmare now, okay? Yes, I know. I can understand that because I have met a lot of students who have the same problem as what you're having now, okay? <laughs> so don't worry. Teacher is here. Teacher is going to help you and make you understand. Panzo, if teacher's, teacher's baby, Panzo, you have to say teacher apostrophe S, teacher's baby. If teacher's baby wasn't sick, she she be in live yesterday. No, Panzo, job job. The teacher, if teacher couldn't go live because her baby was sick yesterday, then I don't know if she could. <laughs> no, no, Lily. If her baby were not sick, no, everyone. Marcus, teacher could be live if her daughter was feeling better. No, we're talking about yesterday. You see. This is yesterday. I told you the first and the second conditional, these have present or future meaning, okay? Shine amen. <laughs> so again, guys, the first and second conditional, I already told you a while ago, if you guys wanna know it, you can actually replay. You can watch the previous part of this live streaming, everyone. I have given the first and the second conditionals, okay? Now I'm gonna tell you the third conditional, all right? Mm. Do you guys wanna know what the third conditional is? So you can actually make the correct sentence or not. You would just, you would, you would just want to continue guessing. Mm, what is your answer? Marty said, <laughs> Yes, ma'am, tell us. Shine when teacher could have gone live yesterday if her baby wouldn't have been sick. No, Shiny man. No, no, no. No, 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 no. Missy said, If her baby wasn't sick, she would have made it. No, 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 no. Mm. No, guys, by the way, for those creators there, if you get the highest level from Botissimo at the end of my live streaming, everyone, you will get three WH from English teacher in France, okay? Loli Loli said, if teacher's baby is not sick, teacher can uh, give a live lesson. No, Loli Loli, this is present meaning, okay? And you are talking about real or possible situation. Missy is laughing out loud now. Why? Why is the sun shining? <laughs> shining pencil, I need cheese right away. Oh my God, guys. Do you really want to know what the sentence is using if? You want to eat everyone? Oh, it's very delicious, guys. I can't uh, stop eating this. Teacher is very bad eating in front of the students. Wow, Jeep Jump, Jeep Jump Raw, that level. Ah, I thought level two is level one. Are you turning into a mouse shiny? <laughs> lolly, lolly, hey, hey, friends. <laughs> lolly, no, lolly, no, no, no. <laughs> shiny man is sad. Marty said, sorry guys, I'm eating because this is sweet and I feel like it's good for my throat because it's, it makes my throat, shall I say wet? <laughs> No, it, uh, you know, it, uh, how can I say? It overcomes the dryness of my throat, everyone. Why are you asking for cheese, shiny man? Jeb Jam said, give up, not teacher, you can give the answers. <laughs> shiny man, it's a kind of like spinach for Papa. <laughs> All right, guys. Teacher is going to tell you now. The third conditional. We did the first and the second, which have present or future meaning. Now we're gonna have the third one. Maybe I don't understand the question. Do you understand Loli Loli? All of you actually understand, okay? All of you under all of you have understood the question. You just need to uh, use the correct pattern. The question Loli Loli is you change this sentence using if. Give him a 10, give him 10 blocks of cheese, okay? No ah. Uh. 
give him 10 blocks of cheese, Penzo, so he can answer. <laughs> Thank you so much for this born family. Big shout out to you. All right, guys. So the third conditional, actually, guys, one and two present or future meaning. Uh, uh, would you like to give another try, everyone, before I give the second one? I mean, the third one. I should take notes next time. Yes, why not? Because maybe one of these days, I'm going to actually give exercises about some of the previous lessons which we have had live and this and more and then later we will have exercises everyone marcus where see i told you english is not my favorite subject laughing out loud would you like to try more i guess or you want me to uh, actually write the third conditional now so we've been live for an hour now we have an hour more Okay, I guess nobody's uh, trying to answer, so I'll just write it here, okay? So the third one, guys, you use if plus the subject plus had pp, how can I say? Oh, had plus pp, guys, this is actually the past perfect simple, okay? And then subject, and then you can use would have pp, okay? So I just do it like that, okay? Okay. So the third condition, everyone, Ruby's born. Let's let's cut it short. <laughs> okay, teacher, it's a lot. It's a lot of suffering for a Friday night. <laughs> Because I would want you to enjoy Friday night, you know? Ruby's Warren family, hello everyone! I am busy and I am stressed because of... Uh, uh, because of ordering my dress for the party tomorrow! Oh my god, my dress doesn't fit me! So I'm trying to check all the dresses in my cabinet. <laughs> Sorry, English time, laughing out loud. Yeah, na mahirap pag order online, minsan maliyan. Oh, yeah, that's right. Okay. Uh, Benzo, message. Oh, uh, everything's German. Okay. Mostly teachers, mostly here with, with uh, German. All right, guys. So, uh, once again, we have here the third conditional. I was sitting on a language lesson for three hours today. Really, Missy, that's interesting. That's very nice, you know? I mean, uh, it's very nice that you are learning. You know, learning a language lesson is very amazing. But you know, even if uh, we're already old or something like that, age doesn't matter in learning everyone. We can learn anytime. We can learn from anyone. All right? Let me see. Okay. Okay. All right. So we have this, everyone. We use if subject, had pp, had pp, that is the past perfect simple, and then comma. And then you start the subject, would have PP, would have PP. Now, as I told you, the first and the second conditional have present or future meaning. Now, the third conditional, everyone, this has the past meaning, everyone. Past meaning, okay? This has past meaning. So you talk about something. That didn't happen. Something that did not happen. Okay? Something that didn't happen. Oh, everybody's speaking German now. Oh my God. Are you trying to uh, actually uh, also, uh, what, uh, revenge? <laughs> Shime, I didn't know your name is Missy. Laughing out loud. Laughing out loud. Okay, everyone's laughing out loud. So yes, guys. Now that you know the pattern, how about try again, everyone? Start. Try again, everyone. Try again. Change this sentence using if. This has past meaning, so try to change it. Loli, Loli said, if teacher's baby hadn't been sick, she could have made a live lesson. Aha, uh -huh, very good. Loli, Loli. But so you said, okay. 
Come on. Sweet escape vlog. Hello, welcome to my live stream. So yes, guys, come on. Do you want another try? Only Loli Loli and Shine Amen. Oh, no, not Shine Amen. Only Loli Loli has given the answer. How about the others? Come on. Nobody wants to give the answer. Change the sentence by using if. Oh, sorry, sweet escape. Because, uh, you know, uh, in live streaming, I'm in mean, chat rooms. We're not supposed to use um, emoticons, everyone. That's why I always say, please don't use emoticons. You see, Nightbot is angry. <laughs> All right, nobody. I'm so sorry, sweet escape, but it's only five seconds, okay? Yeah, I hope you will be back after five seconds. Nobody want to try? Come on, teacher is going to continue eating. <laughs> Come on, everyone. Nobody, nobody. Tic Tac. What's Tic Tac? Jeep Jamro. If baby wasn't sick yesterday, she would have live last night. No. Nobody? Are you guys giving up on Loli Loli? What's now? Now is you change this sentence using if. Teacher, you keep saying no to us. <laughs> I didn't say no to Loli Loli. Had to listen to weather forecast. <laughs> I was saying, try to change this sentence, change this sentence into if form. Change this sentence using if. All right. Okay. So anyway, Loli Loli got it right. Loli Loli got it right. But everyone, I would like you to change this sentence using if, using the same verbs here, go. But Loli Loli used a different verb. She said made. She used the, she used the verb made, could have made a life lesson, which is also correct. Okay. But I would like you to focus on this example, on this. Can you guys make a sentence? Focus on this. Nobody, nobody but me. <clears throat> Anna is still live. Teacher is very bad, guys. In the middle of the class, <clears throat> checking someone who is live. Nobody, nobody but she. Oh, Anna is still live. <laughs> Missy said, if the baby hadn't been sick, she would have been live. Okay, Missy is also correct. Okay, I'll just give you a point. Missy Madeline. Missy Madeline, interesting name. Me Madeline, I'm so sorry. Madeline. It is market. If a teacher's daughter wasn't sick, she could have gone live. Well, she could have gone live is correct. Okay, she could have gone live is correct. But the problem is in the if part. Okay, if teacher's baby hadn't been sick, she could have gone live. Perfect. Shine, amen. Finally, shine, is working. Shine Eman got it right, everyone. Shine Eman got it perfectly, okay? So Shine Eman got one point, Misty got one point, Loli got one point. Okay, not one point. Loli has three points now. Jeb Jamro, a teacher's baby hadn't been sick, she could have, she could have pee pee. 
gone live. Okay, I'm gonna write the example here. I'm gonna write it, I'm gonna write it. Okay, so here we go, the example. If teacher's daughter, you see, if teacher's daughter hadn't been sick, hadn't been sick, negative, because baby was sick, okay? Or you can just say teacher's baby, okay? I'll just change it, teacher's baby. If teacher's baby hadn't, hadn't been sick, comma, because you start with if. So you see, you have here, you have if, Subject, this one is a subject. Then had it PP, this past perfect, well, adjective because you have your B verb, okay? Now you can say, I'm gonna erase this. She could have gone live. Mm, that is the correct sentence, everyone. You see, you have your subject, could have gone, okay? Could have gone, could have pee pee, and yeah, that's it. Well, instead of using would, you actually use could, which means you can actually use this one, the same meaning, have been able to, okay? So you still have, would have, pee, pee go live. So anyway, this one is the same meaning with could have gone live, okay? You can also say, would have been able to go live. Mm, let me see the chat room right now. Gone, yes, Deb Jam, gone. Fans, so finally he is working the feeble robot. <laughs> Congrats, guys! Kitty's Market! You can do it, Kitty's Market. Shine when careful, Fanzo, not but it's not joke. And like, it's him. yes, guys, I'm so sorry, guys, um, because I'm quite tired of deleting messages. So, not but is there, guys. Uh, Shine, amen, careful. Okay. Josie, yes, thank you so much. Shine, robot, laughing out loud. <laughs> so, do you guys understand? So, you see, if teacher's baby hadn't been sick, it means to say, teacher's baby was sick. She was sick. She could have gone live. It means teacher couldn't go live. Do you guys understand? So that is the third conditional everyone. And this is what we call the third conditional with the past meaning. Okay? Past meaning everyone. Past meaning. You guys get it? I hope so. All right, let's try to have a practice. I'm going to give you a little bit of practice here, situation. Thanks. <laughs> okay, guys, teacher, is your baby still sick to today? I hope she is fine. She's fine. She's fine now. So, yes, guys, I hope you understand. There are three. Okay, I'm going to erase this now. You guys understand? You are very welcome, Jeb Jam, Jeb Jam Raw, okay? So that's it, guys. I'm going to actually erase this. And I'm going to write the three patterns here once again. Hi, Eileen. Welcome to my live stream. How are you? Eileen's Adventure. Shine, amen. Look at my back while you are standing in line. <laughs> Okay, guys, so again, first conditional, if, subject, present, simple, okay, and then comma, subject, you use will, oh my gosh, oh, teacher is going to stand up, okay, teacher is standing everyone, <laughs> okay, subject, will, and the base form verb. Okay, that's it. And second conditional is we use if plus the subject 
plus the past simple form of the verb, past simple. And of course, comma, subject, would, plus the base form, verb. By the way, everyone, always remember, you cannot use will or would in the if part of the sentence, okay? If part of the sentence here, if subject and then will is never possible. If subject and would, not possible. You can only use will or would in the main part of the sentence, all right? Jenny Cornwall, hello, welcome to my live stream. I'm good, teacher. How about you? I'm great. I'm great. I'm great. Um, hi, host, and hello, Salah. Yes, welcome to my live stream, my dear. Okay, so now the third one, which we just had, we use if subject plus had pp. I'll just put here had pp, okay? Had pp. But uh, actually, this is past perfect simple, okay? Past perfect simple, that is had pp. I'll just put it there to make it easier, okay? To make it easier for you. So if subject had pp, then subject would have and then pp. All right, so that's it, everyone. Now let's try to practice. Whoever makes the sentence first will get the point, okay? So let's have practice now. I'm going to write a sentence here. <clears throat> okay, here we go. Okay. Uh-huh. Oh, my, what happened here? All right, guys, I'm giving you a situation. I would like you to uh, make a sentence using if from the given situation. Shiny man, you should sit beside lowly lowly. <laughs> All right, everyone, ready? Start, everyone. So this is the situation. The situation is I don't have friends in France, so I can't practice speaking French. So what should be the sentence by using if? Come on. Come on, everybody. Go, go. Because teacher is eating time. <laughs> you want some, everyone? If you want some, you can go to Spain. <laughs> I'm just kidding. If you want some, you can visit me here and you can have this. And there's peanut. Panzo, do you want? Lonely, lonely, would you like some? Everyone. No, just kidding, guys. Come on. The situation is I don't have friends here in France, so I can't practice speaking French. So what should be the sentence by using if? The first, second, or third? If teacher would, I told you, Fanzo, no, 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 Fanzo, I have said you don't use will or would in the if part of the sentence. <coughs> in the if part of the sentence, <coughs> sorry guys, oh my god, because teacher is so, it's so brutal to you. <laughs> Oh, thank you so much, Josie V Vlog. Have a great day. Thank you so much for dropping that, dropping by, my dear. Jodian Centeno, hello. Welcome to the live stream. Yes. Thumbs up, Mr. Juan. Oh, Juan Dash, hello. <laughs> thank you so much for coming, sis. 
So we have answers here. <clears throat> but so if teacher would have friends, no, you cannot use would in if part. Shiny men, if I would have friends, no, because would not possible in the if part. Remember, do not use will or would in the if part of the sentence, okay? Loli Loli said, if I don't have friends in France, I can't practice English. Uh huh. If the teacher had French friends, she would have been able to practice speaking French. No, almost correct, Missy. Sir, you, you, sir, hello. To the end. No problem, sis. Oh, you're only live. Okay. I'm going to write the situation, okay? All right, everyone, now look at the situation. Shiny, if I had some French friends, I could practice speaking French. Uh-huh. At least I'm sure if I have friends in France, I can practice my speaking French. Uh-huh. Fancy, if teacher had a lot of friends in France, she could practice French. Oh, Fancy, almost perfect. Yes, Fancy and Shiny, and everyone, okay? Actually got it right, okay? Panso and Shine Amen got it right. Wow, Panso and Shine Amen. You're working well. Panzo and Shine Amen. Okay. <clears throat> yes, that's correct. Um Jenny Cornwall. If I don't have a, a friend, no, a friend. But you don't use a guys because you have your friends, okay? Uh, you're asking if I don't have a friend in France, how would I practice my French speaking? Uh huh. Loli Loli said, if I have friends in France, I will practice my French. Uh huh. <laughs> Loli is angry now. <laughs> Fazo period is missing. Yes, shiny men got the point. <laughs> Sorry, guys, I need water. Well, guys, actually, okay, excuse me. Actually, guys, this is the real situation, okay? This is the real situation. Now, if you want to use if, okay, if you want to use if, then it should be the most suitable thing is the second conditional, okay? The second conditional because you have the real situation here. I don't have friends in France, so I can't practice speaking French. So using if, that should be imagination. Then you can actually say, if, okay, this is the answer. If I had friends in France, I could practice speaking French, okay? I could practice speaking French. Instead of using could, you can actually use would be able to, okay? Would be able to. If teacher have friends in French, you can practice speaking French. Okay, well, uh, Loli Loli, Eileen, and others who use, if teacher has, if teacher has friends in France, she can practice her, she can practice speaking French. Well, it's also possible, everyone, it's possible. But that is not 
the real situation now. You see, not the real situation because I don't have friends. So this is just imagination. Okay, having friends. <laughs> well, it's possible I can have friends maybe in the future. Okay, it's also correct. Okay, yes, it's also correct. Now both are correct. You can use first one and the second one. Okay, if you try to express something that is possible in the future. You can say, if teacher has friends in France, she can practice speaking French. It's also correct. But with the situation now, I don't have friends in France, so I can't speak French. So if I had friends in France, I could practice speaking French. Okay? Jeff Jamro, if teachers had friends in French, she would practice her French language. Yes! But nah, okay, you're talking about teachers, okay? Teachers, uh, yeah, it's possible you're talking about the teachers, plural. But here, only one teacher, okay? I, I is me, so teacher, okay? That's, that's correct, um, that's correct, Jibjam Ra. If I don't have friends in France, I can't, okay? Remember the first one, everyone. If I don't have friends in France, I can't or I will not be able to practice. Or the second, if I had, okay, if I have, if I had friends in France, I would be able to practice. I could practice. Do you see the difference, everyone? So if you say, if I don't have friends, if I don't have friends, in France, I can't, okay? Because don't is present, Jenny. If I don't have friends in France, I can't practice speaking French. Can't. If present, subject, will or can. Okay, also present form. Here is past, so also past form. Yes, everyone. So the correct sentence is this one. If I had friends in France, I could practice speaking French or something that is real. You can also say, if I have friends in France, I can practice speaking French. Okay? Yeah. These two things are possible. But of course, if the situation is not real, this one is more suitable. Okay? Both are correct. This one or this one. But remember, this one you're talking about something that's possible. Maybe in the future. In the future. In the future, if I have friends in France, I can practice speaking French. Alright? But right now, I don't have I don't have friends in France, so I can't practice French. So, I can say, if I had friends here in France now, I could practice speaking French. Do you get what I mean? Yes, everyone. Oh, everybody is uh, listening very well. Thank you, teacher. I'm working with it. Okay, great job. All right, so now let's have another, another situation, everyone. I'm going to erase this, okay? Okay. Here we go. Okay. Oh, everyone is so... Uh, lowly, lowly, are you okay there? Lowly, lowly, Jeff Jamro. Yes, I can't practice speaking French because I don't have friends in France. Yes, very good. But if you want to use if, you can say, if I have friends in France, I can or I will be able to practice speaking French. Okay? So two possible answers. The first one is real. Second one is imagination. So again, the first one, remember? Okay, review a little bit. The first one and the second one, these have present or future meaning, okay? The first one is real situation. The second one is just imagination. Now, the third one is past meaning, okay? Oh, sorry, haha. Yes, no problem. Okay, let's have another situation now. Another situation, you guys ready? Okay, another situation. <coughs> Okay, here we go. 
The other situation is a bit tricky, everyone. I hope you guys are very focused, okay? Here, it's very tricky. I'm gonna give you a trick. Yeah, it's the, it's not trick, trick or treat. <laughs> Halloween's over, but I'm going to give a trick, okay? Everyone, I hope you don't mind. Trick or treat, what do you want? Trick or treat? Trick or treat, which do you prefer? <laughs> All right, here we go. Fanzo, why are you so silent, Fanzo? Missy treat, oh, everyone prefers treat for sure, right? <laughs> but I'm so sorry, guys. The treat is just for me tonight, okay? For you, it's a treat. <laughs> Thank you so much for being born family. All right, guys. Now I would like you to use if, okay? Make a sentence using if. From this given situation, Jenny Cornwall said, if I don't have friends in France, it would be no. It should be, it will be, okay? Because I don't, don't is present, Jenny Cornwall. If I don't is present, so you should say, it would be hard to practice speaking French, okay? Or if you want to use would be hard, okay? You get, well, two possible answers. You can say, if I don't have friends in France, it will be hard to practice speaking French. It's correct. Or if you want to use would, you can say, if I didn't have friends in France, it would be hard to practice speaking French. Okay? If I don't have friends, it will be hard. If I didn't have friends, it would be hard. You get it? Yes. So that's the pattern. Present, will, past, would. You can use can, which means will be able. You can use could, which means would be able to. Yes, I'm learning something new. Yes, very good. Okay, now let's proceed. Here you go. Start. <clears throat> you are very welcome, Jenny Cornwall. Okay, guys, start. The given situation is... I am hungry, okay? I I am hungry. This is very tricky, guys. I hope you guys are focusing. I am hungry because I didn't or I did not eat lunch. Okay. Oh, Jenny Cornwall got level three. Good job, Jenny Cornwall. I think Jenny has got the highest level for now, right? Jenny Cornwall. Level three. Let me check. Yesterday. Yesterday. Kitty's Market. Yesterday, uh, Kitty's Market is still here. Uh, Kitty's Market Norway Vlogs. Finish in Silva City Dude. Finish also. Yeah, and Anna Anna Marie Concha also finished. And the Sisters Journey. Sisters Journey is not here, right? The Sisters Journey. Sisters playlist is finished. Okay, anyway. These are for creators. Okay. Yesterday. Creators yesterday who got point. Uh, not yesterday. The other day. <laughs> Sorry, Kitty's Market. <laughs> Missy said, if I ate lunch, I wouldn't be hungry. Uh-huh. If um Zeddy Cornwall, I am I am now hungry because I didn't have lunch. Yes, this is the this is the situation. It's exactly it's exactly the same as this, Jenny. But you need to change this using if. Eileen, if you eat, you will not be hungry. Uh-huh. Shiny man, if I had eaten lunch, I wouldn't be hungry. It is Margaret, yeah, okay. Missy, if I ate lunch, I wouldn't be hungry now. Jenny Cornwall, I am now hungry because I haven't eaten. I haven't eaten lunch. But uh, in fact, Jenny Cornwall, Jenny, you cannot say I you cannot say I haven't eaten because okay, well it's possible to say I haven't eaten if 
Now it's still lunch time. Okay, this time when you are speaking, it's still lunch time. You can say, I haven't eaten. Okay, but lunch time is finished. So you have to say, I didn't eat. Okay, well, you are talking about a very good, uh, you are expressing, uh, you're by using a very good sentence, but um, you're not using if. Okay, you can say, yes, it's also correct. I am now hungry because I did not eat lunch. This is it. This is the real situation. This is the real situation now. Fanzo would, wouldn't, not allowed. Yeah, Fanzo would and wouldn't are okay in the main part of the sentence. Main part, main part, when I say main part, here, this part, after comma, it's okay. But if part, not okay. Loli, loli, if I had eaten lunch, I wouldn't have been hungry. Mm -hmm. Eileen's adventure, if you eat lunch, you will not be hungry. Mm -hmm. Does it everyone? Okay. Now, actually, somebody has already got the answer. Everyone remember, I should be capitalized, okay? Everyone, somebody has already got the answer. And somebody has almost got the answer. <laughs> Now, I will give you, I will help you analyze the situation, okay? Jenny, if I eat lunch, I won't be hungry. Uh, I won't be hungry, I'm sorry. Hungry, I won't be hungry. Now, look at the situation here. I am hungry. This means now, okay? The real situation now is I am hungry. I am hungry. All right? This is the real situation of I am hungry. Because I didn't eat lunch. Didn't eat lunch. It's finished. Right? Finished. And then passed. Because lunchtime, finished. It's evening here in France. So, it means you need to use two structures here you put together. All right? I am hungry. I am hungry. This is the real situation now. So real situation now. So that means you imagine. And then past. So the answer should be Shine Amen's answer. Everyone is correct. Okay, look at Shine Amen's answer. All right. Shine Amen's answer is correct. The, the, the correct sentence should be if I had eaten had pp because i didn't eat this is past right had pp past meaning if i had eaten lunch i wouldn't be hungry now so here Teacher, why wouldn't and base form? Because here, it's now, okay? Now remember, we only use would have PP with the past meaning. Now you can actually mix it. If I eat lunch, I wouldn't be, be hungry. Yes, others also possible, but uh, in this situation, it's not. So I am hungry. I am hungry. That is the real situation now. So imagine. I wouldn't be hungry. I wouldn't be hungry now if I had eaten lunch. If I had eaten means I did not eat. Okay? If I had eaten, it means if I had eaten, this one, if I had eaten lunch, it means I didn't eat. I didn't eat. Okay? That's the meaning. I wouldn't be hungry, it means I am hungry. All right. Oh, it's very silent now. Silent, silent. Okay, so I hope you guys understand it. Anyway, we'll have more practice so you guys can really fully understand that. Okay, another situation. Okay, another situation. <clears throat>
Okay, are you guys ready? Okay, here we go. Start. Okay, maybe you should just, okay, I will make it easier, everyone. Okay, I'll make it easier. I will just remove, if, okay, do not use the first conditional, everyone. Do not use the if conditional, the first if conditional, because, anyway, this one is for real situation or possible situation. So, anyway, if you think that something is possible or real in the future, you can use the first conditional. But uh, for this practice now, I would like you to practice using the second and the third, okay? This is the second and the third. I'm waiting, teacher, I need to cook dinner now. Okay, oh, Jenny, my God, you have to cook, okay? Congrats, Shine, Amen. Yeah, Shine, Amen, got another point, everyone. <clears throat> Shine, Amen, and Loli, Loli got three points. Wow, equal. I guess, adventure teacher, ano po magandang application pang edit ng picture sa laptop? Salamat po. Oh, actually, I guess, adventure, I really have no idea. Uh, what application? Guys, um, um, Eileen's Adventure Guys is asking what application for laptop is good to use for editing pictures, okay? If you guys have any ideas which application can be used to edit pictures using laptop, please let Eileen's Adventure know. Because me, I have no idea. I always use my editing I mean, I always do my editing with my phone, okay? I never use my laptop because it's quite complicated. Shiny men, if the road had not been icy, icy, the accident wouldn't have happened. If the road wasn't icy, the accident wouldn't have happened. You are very welcome, Eileen's, Eileen's Adventure. Mm -hmm. It is market, if the road wasn't icy, the accident wouldn't have happened. Uh-huh. Japina and mom, hello, Japina and mom. Welcome to my live stream. How are you, Japina and mom? So yes, guys, for those creators there, so you're there if you actually uh, what uh, join in answering questions here and you get two points, you will get one WH from English teacher in France, okay? Yeah, okay, anyway. You see here, everyone, the situation. The road, the road was icy, was icy, it's past, okay? The road was icy, icy, I don't know, sorry, the accident, the accident, this is the situation, the accident happened because the road was icy, okay? So this is the situation. And you have to think, oh, it's past. So what is the answer? Hmm? What is the correct one? We only have 20 minutes more, guys. 20 more minutes. Uh, Loli Loli said the accident hadn't happened if the road haven't been icy. No. Remember, think. The accident happened because the road was icy. Happened was both are past, right? Past meaning not present, not future. So it means we cannot use the first and the second conditional. We only have to use the set the third conditional i mean yes shine amen double n i know <laughs> so yes guys if the road wasn't icy okay i'm gonna write your answers you, you see if the road the road wasn't icy if the road wasn't icy, what's the meaning? You have to remember every, if the road wasn't icy, the meaning is the road, the road is icy. 
That is the meaning of this. If the road wasn't icy, it means the road is icy. So it means now. But look. Look. Was. If the road is not icy, the accident will not happen. No. If the road had not been icy, the accident wouldn't. Ah, it is market almost. Um, Missy, if the road hadn't been icy, the accident wouldn't have happened. Panzo, the road where where dry, the accident would. <laughs> okay, who got it right? Oh my God, I think um, who got it right? Oh, I think Shine Amen and Kitty's Market got it right. Okay, you see, guys. Look at here. The meaning is past. I know you have headache now, but uh, yeah, it's like that. You only have to think, oh, is this situation present or past? If the situation is present or future, if the meaning is present or future, you only have to use the first and the second pattern. All right? But if the situation is past, then you have to use the third pattern, the third conditional. Lugo, yes, I need aspirin. <laughs> yes, guys, actually, shine, amen. And uh, Kitty's Market got it right, everyone. Yes, got it right, okay? So you see, the correct answer here should be... If the road hadn't been... I see. Okay? If the road hadn't been icy, meaning the road was icy. This is the meaning. The road was icy. Okay? If the road hadn't been icy, comma, the accident, the accident The accident wouldn't have happened. Okay, wouldn't have happened. The accident wouldn't have happened. Wouldn't have happened. It means the accident happened. Okay, the accident happened. Now, hadn't been icy means was icy. You understand everyone? It is market and shine amen. Yes. Yay. Missy, you almost got it right. But the only problem, Missy, is... Oh, I think Missy also got it right. Let me check. If the road hadn't been icy, the, the accident wouldn't have happened. Oh, Missy got it right as well. I'm so sorry. Yeah, Missy and shine amen. Okay. Missy, shine amen. And it is market. Everyone, I'm so sorry. Shine amen. Missy and Kitty's Market, they got it right. But I'm gonna, okay, I'll just give you a point, everyone. I'll give a point to Shine Eamon because Shine Eamon gave it right first. Lin Fell Sun, hello, welcome to my live stream. Oh, you, you got home so late, Lin Fell. Are you in Taiwan right now, Lin Fell, or you are still in Philippines? How are you, Lin Fell? Lin Fell Sun, how are you? So, do you guys, uh, understand a little bit better now i hope you do okay let's have more practice okay that's it so the answer should be the answer should be if the road hadn't been icy which means the road was icy the accident wouldn't have happened it means the accident happened Loli Loli, it's very difficult for me. I'm going to watch this lesson again and again. Sure, Loli Loli. And if you have questions, guys, please don't hesitate to ask, okay? I'm going to give you another example. I missed the word have, though. Oh, yeah. Yes, gotta go now. Thank you. You are very welcome, Missy, Madeline. Welcome. Welcome. You are very welcome. All right? <clears throat> okay, Missy, I'll just give you two points and shine even one, okay? <laughs> okay, now let's have an Achilles happen. I'm feeling <laughs> no problem. I need adventure. Okay, next one, everyone.
Okay, here, I didn't take a taxi because I didn't have money. Okay, this is the situation. Okay, start. I will erase this. I didn't take a taxi because I didn't have money. So I only walked going to a certain place. I had some part time. Oh, I see Linfell. That's a great job, Linfell. Lao Fanzo, thanks for being kind. Lao Shine, no worries. <laughs> Jenny, I really need to go back to school. Oh yeah, just you know, review everyone. It's a, it doesn't really uh, matter, but I know you guys can express yourselves. Well, um, as long as you can express yourselves, it's not really, you know, it's not really a big deal. But sometimes, you know, some people will be very particular with what you are trying to say. So you need to actually, uh, yeah. Uh, Shine even said, I can't contradict teacher laughing out loud. If I had, if I had have some money, I could have taken a taxi. Shine, amen. We need to change something there. It's almost correct. Shine, amen. It's almost correct. Excuse me, guys. <clears throat> because of you, feel no shame. Yes, guys, we only have 10 minutes more before the show ends. So Jenny, so far, has got the highest level. Wow. So uh, if you are really the in the highest level tonight, Jenny, so you will get 3 WH from English teacher in France. Shiny said, if I had some money, I could have taken a taxi. Shiny man's wrong. Lowly, lowly, if I had had money i could have taken a taxi yes very good job lonely lonely but finally you got it right lonely lonely look everyone look look the situation is the situation is i didn't take a taxi because because I didn't have money. So you see, I didn't have money. I didn't take taxi. Past meaning everyone passed. Oh, what happened? <laughs> what happened? Oh, I'm so sorry, Loli, Loli. I don't know what happened, but Loli, there's more that came spamming phrases. Oh, really? Oh, my God. Lowly, lowly, don't worry. Only five seconds, lowly, lowly. You can come back, okay? Actually, guys, lowly, lowly got it right. Maybe just because, uh, yeah, it's okay. Lowly, lowly, maybe just because the, the sentences are repeated, okay? I'm so sorry, lowly, lowly. And you have to avoid using emoticons. Yeah, oh, my God. <laughs> no. Guys, I, I would like to explain to you. Loli, loli, I'm so sorry. But guys, um, Nightbot, guys, is really very particular with uh, spamming words. If you guys use emoticons, these are spamming, okay? If you guys repeat sentences or phrases, also spamming. I'm so sorry, loli, loli. But loli, loli, 600 seconds. Oh my God, that's five minutes, right? Loli, Loli, I'm so sorry. Um, I hope you can just enjoy watching there, okay? I hope you don't you don't take it uh, bad, but it's really okay. It's not a big deal. It's just that the sentences are repeated. So uh, Nightbolt actually uh, put you in time out, okay? Yeah, so I hope you guys uh, learn from this. This is what usually happens, but oh my God. Nightbolt is very strict. Shine even explain to her, I'm French, Loli, Loli. <laughs> in French. Loli Loli can understand, I think. Yeah? Shine Amen? Shine Amen. You can explain Shine Amen, please? So yes, guys, I didn't take a taxi because I didn't have money. So Loli Loli got it right, everyone. Loli Loli got another point. Now Loli Loli got four points here. So yes, guys, so this is past meaning. Past meaning, right? So you have to say, if, if I had, because that's past, 
If I had had, okay, had had, had PP of have is had. If I had had money, I would have taken a taxi. Okay, that is correct. Okay, Loli, Loli, you did a great job. Your answer is correct, okay? If I had had, had had, if I had had, it means I didn't have money, okay? I would have taken, would have taken, it means I didn't take a taxi, okay? So that is the correct answer, okay? Yes. She wants to be the money. Sorry guys. <clears throat> so yeah, that's the answer. So Loli Loli got it right. Congratulations, Loli Loli. <laughs> but Loli Loli, 600 seconds. Oh my God, first time is five seconds and second time is 600 seconds. I think I need to, uh, yeah, anyway, I don't know. So that's it everyone. So I hope you guys actually understand all these uh, conditionals, the three conditionals. Remember the first conditional, which is if, subject present simple, subject will, and the base form verb. We use this when you talk about real or possible situations. But if you want to express something that is not possible, unreal situation or just imagination, everyone, which means present or future, you can use the second structure, which is if, subject, past, simple, subject, would, and the base form. First and the second conditionals, everyone, have present or future meaning, all right? Now, if you want to express about the past meaning, past meaning using if, you can use the third conditional. If subject had PP, subject would have PP, all right? Yes. Uh, Marta Sirish, what is it, teacher? Sorry, somebody called. I missed something. No problem, Marta Sirish. We're almost finished. Actually, we only have three minutes left. Yeah, so this is the situation. I didn't take a taxi because I didn't have money. So if you want to use if in expressing this, well, it's simple. You can just say, oh, I didn't have, I didn't have money, so I didn't take a taxi. But if you want to express something you regret, you say, if I had had money, I would have taken a taxi. So the same meaning, all right? Shine even Marcus, you just missed the pain. <laughs> what is PP teacher? Oh, very good question, Jenny. PP everyone, PP is actually, PP this means past, past participle. Past participle. Past participle form of the verb. When you say past participle, for example, the verb eat, is the base form. Past simple is ate. PP is eaten. Okay? This is past participle. PP, eaten. Okay? So for example, bring, brought, brought. Brought is the past participle. For example, take. What is the past of take? Took. What is the PP? Taken. Marta's got cheese for shining. <laughs> Yes, guys, lowly, lowly. I'm so sorry. I hope to see you again, lowly, lowly. RC Mix TV, nice teaching. Good job, ma'am. You are very welcome. I'm sorry, guys. No problem, everyone. You're always welcome to come here at my live streaming. If you guys want to learn English, well, uh, I would say that I'm not. Even if I'm a teacher, sometimes I can also make mistakes, but I teach English here as much as I can. Uh, as long as I am able to teach because I would like to share also what I know, you know? Yeah, you, anyway, you cannot share what you don't have. So because I have this knowledge, so I'm trying to share this to people who are interested. So if you guys are interested to learn more about grammar or everything about English or anything about English, as long as I know, I will be willing to actually share to you my knowledge and answer your questions. If you guys have questions, or any suggestions you can actually comment below this live streaming everyone or you can visit my Facebook page Kathy's Angels and you can send me a message there if you have some things that you want to know or you want to learn 
for our next live streaming everyone or maybe my pre-recorded video as well i can make for you guys so yeah uh fans of lonely lonely i'm sorry for not but just don't use symbols yeah i'm so sorry lonely lonely but i'm sure lonely lonely understands it because uh lonely lonely has attended many english lessons online and nightbot is always there in that lesson that she has been attending yes just my uh martis if the road wasn't icy the accident wouldn't no the road if the road hadn't been icy the accident wouldn't have happened it means the road was icy so the accident happened the road was icy so the accident happened if you want to express your regret oh if the word if the not the word if the road hadn't been icy the accident wouldn't have happened okay yeah kitty smart i'm thinking of making fb laughing out loud sure kitty smart so yes guys that's it you can visit kathy's angels that my that's my facebook page if you have questions or any lesson that you would like to learn or something that i can answer about france if i can but you have we also have here some people from france they can help you if you have if you want to know some information about france oh martis rich got level three very good martis rich martis rich got level three Wow, so the people who got the highest level tonight, guys, is Marta Shrish and Jenny Cornwall, everyone. Congratulations. And Loli Loli got four points. Missy got two points. Shine Eman got four points. Fanzo only one point, Fanzo. So Shine Eman, to whom are you going to give your points? Uh, Shine Eman. Whom, Shine Eman? Are you going to take it for yourself, Shine Eman, or are you going to give it to someone? Would have not happened. Yes. Oh, no, 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 no. It's not possible. Could that be correct? No. Because the negative of will is will not. The negative of would is would not. So negative should always be wouldn't. And have pp is just the other part. Okay? The negative should always be done with the first helping verb. Okay? So the negative word should be placed after would. And so it looks like I should come in here late so i will get level five mm -hmm. so are you talking about the past uh fanzo if you're talking about the past fanzo then you should say i should have come in i should have come in late i should have come in late it means you didn't come late but it was the right thing to do so you say i should have i should have come in late okay this means you didn't you didn't come late but it was the right thing to do okay uh fanzo uh jenny cornwall when is your next live stream teacher oh jenny cornwall i think i can also go live tomorrow but uh I'm not sure what time everyone but I will go live tomorrow for sure because it's weekend so I have more time and yeah I can go live tomorrow it should be probably earlier okay not in the evening um not 6 p.m okay it's uh it's not between 5 to 7 no okay it should be either after 7 or for sure before 5 p.m. Because tomorrow, guys, I have my private lesson here. A French student is coming to the house. And uh, she's going to study English here in the house with me. So it's one-on-one -on -one class. So I have class 5 p.m. on Mars. Okay? So I can't. So I think I'm going to go live before 5 p.m. my time. Okay? So right now, everyone, it's actually 8 p.m. 8, 19 p.m. here in France. I was thinking out loud. <laughs> <laughs> two for kitties and martis please okay so two for kitties and martis okay you are very kind shine amen big thanks shine amen so kitties got two points two and martis also two so martis will have four wh okay four wh martis because one wh from shine amen and then three wh from you you got the highest level and it is one wh all right thank you so much shine amen 
Kitty Smart Kid, big thanks, Shine Amen. Promise I'll study harder next time, laughing out loud. <laughs> so, yes, guys, I think this really is. So, uh, oh my god, I'm over the time now. I've been live for two hours and five minutes, something. So, I just have four minutes more, guys. I'm gonna make it two hours and ten minutes. So, yes, guys, if you guys have questions, Eileen, one point. Yeah, but Shine Amen, you have four points. So, four points means two WH. Two points, one WH. Four points to WH. Um, Eileen has no point. <laughs> Eileen, one point. <laughs> so, yeah, I hope to see you everyone tomorrow at my live stream. Thank you so much for free lessons, teacher. You are very welcome, Jenny Cornwall. You are very welcome. Okay? So, if you guys have questions or suggestions or things that you would like to know or you would like to learn related to English, Please don't forget to comment below. And yes, if you like this live streaming, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Thank you so much. Yes, and if you're new to my channel, everyone, please don't forget to subscribe and click that bell button below to get more updates and you will get notified of my new videos and live streaming, everyone. Thank you so much. Once again, this is English Teacher in France. Thank you so much for tuning in, everyone. I really appreciate your presence every time you come to my live streaming. Thank you, thank you. And don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Bye, Sensei. Yes, bye, Fanzo. Are you leaving now, Fanzo? We have three minutes, Fanzo, for hanging out, Fanzo. We have three minutes. Thanks, teacher. Shine email. Thanks, everybody. Bye, you all. Yes, bye, Kitty's Market. <clears throat> so, yeah, that's it for tonight, everyone. So yeah, Shine Amen, Mercy Teacher, take care everyone. Dorian, Shine Amen, Tic Tac. Yes, timer, Tic Tac, Tic Tac, Tic Tac, Tic Tac. Okay, teacher is going to drink water. Sorry, guys. Okay. Let's eat orange, everyone. Um, I have a lot of these small ones because, yeah, there's a lot again because it's winter, you know? Uh, during almost winter, when it's almost winter, everyone, I can see a lot of this in the market. So I bought one today from the market. I bought a lot because it's Friday and there is market here near our house every Friday. It's a big market. It, it's only every Friday. So I bought this because it's very good, you know, vitamin C. We need vitamin C with this weather. <clears throat> For Spain teacher, first ah, from Spain. No, this one is from uh, from here. I bought this from the... Uh, <laughs> oh my God! The juice is in my eye. Loli Loli, are you okay, Loli Loli? I hope you will have a great evening, Loli Loli. And I hope to see you again next time. Loli Loli. So yeah, this is from here, Fanzo. I bought this from the market. Yeah? And from Spain? Hmm. It's very good, guys. Very sweet. Teacher, teacher, Clementine is sweeter than mandarin. No. Really? I haven't tried that. This is very delicious and it's very sweet. Very sweet. The juice is in my eye. <laughs> yeah, the juice is in my eye, you know? Have you tried this, Panzo? This is from Spain. Product of Spain. Very delicious, Fanzo. Oh, you haven't tried this? You should try. It's very delicious. Actually, I have two. But this one, I haven't tasted this. I haven't tasted. I will try this later. Because I didn't want to open at the same time. So, yeah. Um, maybe tomorrow I'm going to open one. In one box, there are two packs. From Joby. Secret, Fanzo. Yeah, did you watch the video, Fanzo? I actually uploaded a video of my unboxing of this, you know? And this one is very delicious. I love this. I don't know about this one. It's really good. Are you familiar with this, Shine Amen? Kahit lang, teacher. I guess I'm sure no problem. They look the same, yeah. This is from Spain, everyone. And it's very delicious. Um, Toron Blando is creamy toron. Creamy toron in English. And uh, I'm not sure if uh, I'm correct, if what I'm saying is correct. And this is a uh, torong uh, duro, I don't know. It's a uh, crunchy toron. 
It's very delicious, guys. My God, I had some like this when my uh, my uh, my husband's best friend came here, and uh, she he brought some from Spain. But I didn't like the taste. It's too sweet. But this one is very good. I like it. You see, I almost finished this pack. It's on my. <laughs> the food is on my hair. <laughs> the juice is in my eyes. <laughs> the second one looks like a paste grinded. Ah, really? So it should be very good as well. Peanut butter. Oh, yeah. But I love this one. I love this. You want some, Fanzo? Yeah, very delicious. Oh, yeah, I'm over the time again. Okay, four minutes more. <laughs> Four minutes more guys i'm actually gonna cook we're having a late dinner because tomorrow is saturday we don't have work give it to angel and chloe if it is too sweet no not this one the one i uh i got from spain as well my husband's best friend brought it here but it's too sweet but the kids also don't like it but they like this one angel tried it and she likes it mm. Yummy. Mm, yummy, yummy. Want some? Mm, I wish I could give you Martha's Rich. It's very delicious, really. Look at the photo. I like that. And I love this kind of uh, nut guy. The coconut nut is a giant nut. Poo, 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 poo. <laughs> Peanut butter cups taste good. Shine, amen. Looks good. Peanut butter cups. What is that? <laughs> Panzo said, "What's in the what's in the their coconut teacher?" <laughs> There's no, there's no coconut uh, panzo. It's just, uh, I think it's a sugar and a lot of nuts. I love this nut. You see? Oh my god, what happened? Connection is uh, gone. This. I love this. Yeah. Yeah. There's a song panzo, Filipino song. The coconut nut is a giant nut panzo. <laughs> what is the lyrics? Uh, Marcus Rich. You should check out the lyrics, okay? The coconut nut is a giant. <laughs> Send him some cheese, shiny even ah. Uh. <laughs> Teacher is being lazy now. But Panzo is not a botanic guy. More on, oh, I don't understand that. Must be a German word, right? Mmm, yummy. Yes, guys, anyway. One minute and 20 seconds more. Thank you so much, everyone. Mmm. Very good, no seeds, you know? And sweet, oh, I love this. Not very sweet, but I mean, this is fruit. Good when it's sweet. La sure. What is sure? A shiny when you are more than me. <laughs> what does it mean, everyone? Oh my God, you're speaking German. You are very unfair now, huh? Teacher puts a lot of food in her, food in her mouth. You see? Mmm. <laughs> Panzo, I will do live testing all the nuts and you are my sponsor. <laughs> Panzo, you give Maritis all the kinds of nuts and she will she will do mukbang of all the nuts testing. Teacher is Chuchurut. 
Choo choo. I don't know that French word, Chinese man. Marvin, you want my nuts? <laughs> so yeah guys I'm sorry guys I want to stay longer with you guys but I can't okay I have to uh, do some stuffs here thank you so much everyone I have to say bye <laughs> I have to say bye now everyone and um, I will see you tomorrow at my live streaming for sure earlier please stay a little bit <laughs> Guys, I've been live for 2 hours and 15 minutes. Okay. <laughs> Let's make it 20. But 20 is the last time, okay? I mean, <laughs> we have been extending for uh, quite a few times already. Fanso makes me laugh so hard here. <laughs> Bye, Fanso, the naughty professor. <laughs> Mark is... Fanzo. Fanzo, this <laughs> Fanzo, this knot is hard, you know? It's hard. I love it. <laughs> Fanzo, you can keep it. <laughs> ah, Fanzo, your knots are not hard anymore. Oh my god, Fanzo, you're thinking a different you're thinking about a different color. Teacher, you might get reported. <laughs> I want to have enough here. I only need two. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> guys, did you guys have given me? I mean, did you guys give me a thumbs up? <laughs> yeah, this is very hard, you know? It's hard. Look, the full thing I have eaten. <gasps> Teacher, so fast. And this is hard. This is hard. The nut, <laughs> the nut is hard. Very hard. Yeah. Very delicious. <laughs> delicious, guys. <laughs> I don't know. Is it walnut? Oh, I don't know. Is a uh... ah here traditional crunchy turon with roasted almonds and honey. Okay, it's clear, right? Yeah, that's it. With roasted almond and honey. Alice Adventure is laughing. <laughs> Get away with Noel! Oh my god! Get away with Noel! I'm about to leave! But we will just let uh, Get away with Noel come in, okay? And then we're gonna end. My two nuts are not hard. It's a little bit soft. <laughs> the nuts of Fanzo is so not. Uy, what kind of nut is that? Maybe the what? Um, it's not roasted nut, okay? It's not roasted. When it's roasted, it's actually hard, okay? Maybe it's a boiled boiled uh, nut. Have you have you have you tried eating boiled nut in Philippines? We should, we have a boiled nut boiled nut, guys. We boil nut in Philippines as well. Noel, you are late. It's after party now. <laughs> Mine is Korean and Filipino. <laughs> Marta's wish. Is your husband Korean? Is your husband mixed Korean and Filipino? No way you got nuts for Marta's. 
So yeah, guys, I think that's really it, guys. Bye, everyone. Ah, yeah, he's mixed Korean and uh, Filipino. That's great, Marcus Rich. I was the man's hi. How are you? Oh my God, guys, you just came. That's a lot of nuts. You come. Hello, Noel. I, uh, you come right in time, guys. I have to go now. Sean Eamon, do you have nuts? <laughs> Guys, bye bye everyone. I actually need to go. Bye. Yes, I'm about to. I already. I'm already over twenty minutes over the planned thing. I plan to go live only two hours, but I've been like two hours and twenty minutes because I kept extending, but I can't extend anymore. Okay, oh my ghost. <laughs> bye everyone. See you tomorrow. I'm gonna go live before five p.m. tomorrow. Okay. Bye bye. Bye. I already broke the plan. Marcus Rich. Bye-bye, everyone. Have a great evening.